Ok, bună seara, bun găsit la o nouă ediție Next Level aici la Vibe FM, sunt Optic. M-am bucur să fiu din nou cu voi, mai ales că uh, am o surpriză super plăcută și un uh, invitat pe măsură în această seară aici la Vibe FM. Sâmbătă seară se întâmplă în uh, capitală un an de Wise Guys, cu alte cuvinte pe trecea aniversară, cu invitat uh, principal Scarlett Etienne, care este în această seară invitată în studio. Alături de aia vor mixa de aia mie Manu, Alin Stoica, Cezar Stan și Piticu. Scarlett, Hello. welcome! Thank you Welcome very much. again. <laughs> Thank you for having me back. Yes, I'm so glad you're here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Uh, what happened in the past, what, 14 months? <laughs> <laughs> has it been that long? March last year, I Oh think. my goodness. Um, yeah. What hasn't happened? So many things have happened. Um, since last year, well, yeah. Like, tell me three major things. Three that... major things. Okay, well, I've been to Burning Man twice, which is quite major. Going to Burning Man once is quite we'll major. We'll talk about this later. Yeah. Um, I performed at Montreux Jazz Festival with uh, Nell Rogers and Johnny Marr and uh, a, a bunch of really amazing performers like Grace Jones and Alternate and Mark Ronson. It was fabulous. All right. I mean, it was just amazing being up there with Johnny Marr and, and Niall um, playing keys. Um, we brought you a key tonight from our friends DJ Superstore <laughs> just to make you feel comfy. Oh, you brought me a love. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a play around with that later. Listen, it's connected <laughs> if you want to sing something it's no problem. It's just well, a, it's it's a little bit aggressive. so it might be difficult to perform. Uh, we something. did it serious, no problem. <laughs> uh, we solved the problem. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And another thing, um, what else has happened? Uh, um, I fell in love. Uh-oh. This is good, right? I know. Yes, it's very good. It's, uh, it's the one you've been... Um, do we know him? <laughs> That's no. not like this. Do we know him? You don't know him. Oh, you don't know all right. him, but you will. <laughs> all right. So that's a, that's a good good thing to hear. Thank you. Uh, you're moving to New York. Why? I am. Um, I've been in London for a very long time, and I want to go home. I want to go back to New York. I want to be with the American people. And I went to... Um, well, actually, after Burning Man the last time, I, I went to New York to see Lee Burridge. Do you know Lee Burridge? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so I went. Who to doesn't? Go, <laughs> I went to go to one of his parties, and um, I just realized that I have so many amazing friends in New York, and it's such a nurturing, wonderful, creative environment uh, for artists. So I just said, "Why not? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home to New York. I'm going to go home to New York City." New York is actually the place you were, you were you lived right in the childhood. I, yeah, you I told used to me live last there. Time. Yeah, I used to live there a long time ago, but. Um, I, it was a different experience because I was just starting out DJing. I started DJing in New York. Um, I was a struggling, starving artist. So it was like a completely different story to yeah. now. I feel like I've um, achieved a lot of my dreams that, that I had when I was living in New York. And I just want to come back with a different perspective. And uh, I want to just create more and write more and just do more music and live a wonderful, happy New York City life. <laughs> So how, how are you going to do this? Because I'm also a person who uh, who moved from a, from a different city to another city, like Bucharest. Where did you move from? Uh, from Mirkwetschuk. It's, oh. a, it's a really small city in Romania, so... I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, of course you haven't. Probably very <laughs> Nobody <small>. has. <laughs> all right, so uh, I came to Bucharest and I was n- knowing nobody. All right, it was a, was a new ground. Of course, for you, it's not that new because you've been there, you, you live there. And the question is, how would you... Um, restart uh, a ground for, for an artist. I mean, you move to New York, all right, what are you going to do? How are you going to um, reconnect to people and to, to, oh, to well, people from the industry? Uh, like I said, I mean, you know, ha- a good place to start is having good friends around you who believe in you. That's a very good place to start. Um, and then the rest will just happen naturally after that. If you just surround yourself with, in a nurturing environment with people who believe in you and believe in your art and your music and what you do, then... <laughs> I mean, what else do you need? Everything else will fall into place. You need new tracks. Tell me about your new, tr- new, new tracks. Oh, well, I have some new tracks. I have, uh, well, I, I, I gave you my uh, one of my new tracks. Yes, you're going to release it after, after this, all yes, right? Yes, <laughs> it's called uh, Disconnected, and uh, I wrote it with Felix the House Cat. And um, I've got, I've got another, a few other things in the pipeline as well. Um, I just signed another track called I Don't Need a Reason. Um, to a so very, this is the big secret? <laughs> well, it's kind of a secret, but it won't be a secret for very long. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give you too much information about that, but it's on a very hot record label. Talking about hot, is it difficult for a woman to DJ in 2013? A woman to DJ? What yeah. do you mean, a woman to DJ? I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean it's, it's an industry full of guys, right? Yeah. And sometimes uh, women are um, disconsidered, actually. 
unfortunately. No, I don't. I don't think so. No. For, for you, it's 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 you. I would definitely have the ground. minority for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't think it. I, I don't think it's difficult. But do you think that for a mo for a girl like I don't know, uh, 21 years old right now would be difficult to start? It would be difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's you know the internet and everything. You know, it's very saturated and. Um, you know, you, you would have to work twice as hard, but it, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with being a woman. If you work hard and you live off of your own hustle and uh, you, you just put all of your passion into it, then it should be very easy. And you know, being, being around men all the time, like that, that's not a problem. Men are awesome. <laughs> you know, like I've, I've had a great, I have such great experiences, you know, working with wonderful club promoters who are gentlemen like Daniel from space for example <laughs> and um, yeah it's all it's all wonderful um, I, I will I will say that uh, in the industry sometimes like most of the crap that you have to deal with is from other women <laughs> It's just like uh, women are not friends with other women, right? Well, sometimes. Based usually. Yeah. Well, it's just I'm just saying sometimes, you know, they'll pretend to be all girl power and, you know, feminism and all that. And then like the minute you turn your, you know, to the <laughs> other direction. Yeah, they, they'll just rip your throat out with their teeth. And uh, it's really unfortunate. But I'm I'm very lucky to know very amazing women in the industry like Posso, uh, a DJ duo from L.A. Do you know them? No. You should know them. They're They're gorgeous. All right. And, uh, uh, you know, people I'll like... Uh, yeah, you should. And Icona Pop as well. Um, you know, two years ago, I played with them in, in Social Club in Paris. And now they're like playing David Letterman, which is amazing. All and, right. you know, these are all women that we've, we've bounced off, like positive uh, feelings to each other. So, you know, it's it's great to have friends in the industry as well. Name so. some name a star or two stars or three stars or four stars you like to know in person. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'd probably say Prince. A celebrity. But he's probably really hard work. Um, uh, let's see. If I had if I had a celebrity dinner party, I'd, I'd probably like to invite Prince, Hillary Clinton, um, Madonna, <laughs> uh, Lady Gaga, because I, I I met her at Chateau Marmont and I and I, I fangirled all over her, her breakfast. I was all I love you, <laughs> and I I was like I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna be very composed. And uh, yeah, because you know we're both artists. And then I went over there. I just went, I love you. It's just really bad. So I feel like I need to redeem myself for that. <laughs> That's cool. Um, uh, Neymar, or tell me a funny or weird mo a moment that happened to the, at the gig. Um, a funny or weird moment. Well, I consider Burning Man a gig. Um, a lot of really crazy things happen at Burning Man. Um, I performed there um, this last time at this, this party called the Robot Heart, mm -hmm. and it's a <laughs> it's a bus with a really sophisticated sound system strapped to it. And so I performed um, at the Robot Heart after Wolf and Lamb and Soul Clap, and um, I think like the morning after, or you know, like as the sun was coming up. I think it was like maybe a day or two days after. I was listening to, uh, we, you know, it was just a, a bunch of us from the camp were hanging out. And um, Tom, my friend Tom had his uh, his iPod plugged in and this beautiful song came on. And I was like, oh my God, this song is so amazing. It was James Ewell, um, Sweet Love, the, the Prince Thomas edit. Okay. I was like, oh my God, this song is really beautiful. And I was having like a very reflective moment. It was so beautiful. And it was just like, it really felt like a very perfect, beautiful moment. And then when I when I got home, I um, I just tweeted him to say, hey, you know, I just want you to know that I had a very special moment at Burning Man to this song. And he said, uh, oh, cool. Have you heard my song Secondhand Steinway? Because I actually wrote that about you and uh, your piano playing because I used to live below you and my girlfriend and I used to <laughs> listen to you play piano and it inspired this song. <laughs> so I was just oh like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I was like, this is weird. Okay, yeah, but uh, no, yeah, Secondhand Skyway is, cool. is also a, a, another really beautiful you know song, what? and his album is amazing. That's, what, that's <laughs> why I like the track, because actually it was inspired from your song, right? Well, yeah, I mean, but that, the song that I liked wasn't inspired from my oh, piano playing, right. but I just thought it was really interesting that he had that story. It was really sweet, actually. So, um, yeah, that's a really weird, one really weird thing that happened at, at Burning Man. Tell me, so. about, tell, me about, tell me more about Burning Man. What's, what's happening there, actually? 
Oh, I mean, it's, well, a, it's a it's a planet in another planet, right, or something like this. Planet, you feel like <laughs> a you're different world. A, it's a completely different planet. You know what? Explaining Burning Man to someone who's never been is like explaining color to a, <laughs> color to a blind person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just like you can't explain it. People tried to explain it to me for years, and I never went. And I was like, oh yeah, a bunch of hippies running around in the desert in a loincloth. I'm like, I'm not gonna go sleep in an RV for a week. No way. But then I went, and I was just like. Okay, I get it. Like, magical, like the most beautiful celebration of art and human kindness and music and, and friendship. Friendship. It's kind of a Woodstock for. It kind of is. Yes, I kind of feel like there are, are a lot of like Woodstock 1969 Ish. vibes to it, but with more deodorant. What? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do they play, play over there? I mean, oh, what's well, the sound? Um, Or different sounds, or a mixed lot of different sounds. But um, you know, I I, the, I was sta I was staying with the Robot Heart Camp, and you know, their sound is very, you know, like I said, Wolf and Lamb and Soul Clap. People like Bob Moses performed. Um, by the way, you need, to, you need to check them out; they're amazing. Um, so people like uh, you know Lee Burge has like the biggest night there as well. Um, Crosstown Rebels do a night there, so it's like quite underground. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year also, I performed at a place called District, and they have people. Um, Like you know this this scum frog and and well, who also performs at Robot Heart and like, Thug Fucker and oh, can I say that on the radio? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get arrested. I'm like I almost got arrested in Kosovo for like uh, you know political dissidents on the radio. Anyway, so um, yeah, it's just like really wonderful underground house music most of the time. So yeah, you should check it out. You should come. Maybe next year. Yeah. Yeah. You should. About the accommodation, you, you talked about uh, staying in an RV for a week. Yeah. What's the best hotel you stayed at? Oh, well, definitely not my RV at Burning Man. Um, <laughs> that's really hard. Have you seen my hotel rooms blog? I have this hotel rooms blog. It's called View Where the Room yes, at Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah. So I've taken a self portrait in every hotel room that that's, I've ever. That's a really nice project, actually. You know? Thank you. you should, yeah. they, Somebody should should see this. I mean, it's really cool. Well, everybody sees it. No, I mean like, like somebody <laughs> from the photographic industry because yeah. it's, it's a nice project. Well, yeah, it's um, it just started out as like a stupid thing for myself, and now it's kind of blossomed to this crazy thing. Yeah, you know, I'm on. I think like number 180 at the moment, and mm. last my last one was the Georges Sank in Paris. So I think um, to answer your question, my favorite hotel is probably Amanquila in Bali. And a close second would be Huvaf and Fushi in the Maldives. I mean, both of them are just exquisite hotels to stay. A paradise, amazing. So. Uh, ever thought about it would have been better for you to born as a maid? Oh no! <laughs> What oh no, I think I thank God every day that I'm a woman. It is such a gift to be a woman. It is wonderful to be a woman. Yeah, I'm very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> If it'd be a man, what would you change? If I were a man? Yeah. What would I change? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be a man. <laughs> Imagine. I'd probably get a sex change. <laughs> if I were a man. Best gig this year. Best gig this year. Hmm. Uh, hard pop in Juarez, Mexico. I love my Mexican fans so much. I love them. And um, yeah, hard pop in Juarez because I'll, I'll tell you why it was the best one because the last time I went to Juarez, it was a war zone, like oh. a complete crazy drug cartel war zone. And um, the last time I went back up to Juarez, it was like very much like a time of peace. And um, you know, like a lot of the violence has, has has quieted down a lot. You know, I saw people and like their families playing like in the in the park which is something that you would not have seen in Juarez like two three years ago so it was it was very much a celebration of peace a time of peace so I think that's why it was one of the best gigs of the year good vibes yeah really good vibes it's all about the good vibes so listen imagine yourself let's say you had to live only 24 hours more what would you do oh well I would spend 12 hours traveling to Bali and then I would spend the next 12 hours surfing in Kuta Beach with a very wonderful gentleman that I know. So that's what and I would do. You're that's in my love with. <laughs> yes. But like, that's my happy place. It's like whenever I'm surfing, like I really feel like that's, <laughs> it's just like everything that I do in my life is, is worth it <laughs> when I get a chance to surf. It's wonderful. Right. Do you surf? 
No, haven't done it before. You should give it a Never. go. I only started a couple years ago. We like, don't have waves. It's like oh yeah, this big, the biggest waves. They don't have waves in uh in what's it called? The, in the black sea now. And the black. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. They should call it sun waves. Sun waves. Yeah, that's quite misleading. You like sun waves? I love sun waves. I love sun waves. I did not get a chance to go this year because I was I was going around other places. It was really really crowded this year. Yeah. Yeah. Was it good? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. Well, actually, I don't remember too much <laughs> from um, two o'clock onwards. That's so. a good sign. <laughs> yes, of course it is. <laughs> Listen, uh, imagine you would turn invisible. What would be the first thing you do? <laughs> Probably run around naked, but I do that anyway. So, uh, <laughs> um, I would never want to be invisible. I want to be seen and consumed, and I want everyone to. Know that I'm here, <laughs> so I think it would be really dreadful to be invisible. So I'm glad that I'm not. Scarlett, thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for having so me. So we're gonna again. listen to the track, right? We're yes, and you're gonna to... come to my party on Saturday, aren't yes, you? Yes, it is. I'm playing at Space Space Bucharest. Yes, so you have to come because it's gonna be amazing. And it's gonna be an anniversary, one year anniversary Wise Guys party. Yes. And along you is gonna be Adriana Ftimie Mano, Alin Stoica, Cezar Stan Piticu. These are some cool guys. All the all, all of them are awesome. So it's going to be a wonderful party. I All hope right. we can make it down. Yes. Thank See you Saturday you. night. Um, in this evening, Scarlett Etienne la Vibe FM with her first piece, with Felix the Housecat, after which we continue with the set. Scarlett, thank you very much for being here again. Thank you for having me.